Hello, my name's Nick. I'm an ex-Royal Marines Commando, British military fitness instructor, boot camp instructor, rehab instructor, and a level three personal trainer. And today we're going to look at losing weight and excess skin hanging and how to, what is the best way to lose weight without the skin hanging off. So if ever you've seen people that have drastic weight loss, You've, I'm sure you've all seen videos where they've got a massive kind of fold of skin and you see people on the chest, they've just got excess skin that's just hanging. So currently at the moment, the UK government guidelines are in order for the skin to catch up with the body or to keep pace with the body, what, losing one pound of body fat per week, they say uh, the skin can catch up. Some say half a pound, it's about half a pound to a pound. If you lose that steadily over a period of time, arguably the skin will be able to catch up. If you have, if you are morbidly obese, i.e. you are very, very large, then you may just have too much skin and the skin can't quite catch up. The genetics will also play a role in this. So if you have dramatic weight loss, sometimes the skin just can't catch up and that's generally when people go to see the doctor and they see whether they can do something surgically about that skin. But if you go for a healthy, uh, sensible training program where you're losing about a pound a week, really maximum in terms of body fat, then the skin should be able to catch up with that body fat and then you won't have the excess skin hanging off. Uh, I've trained a few people over the years who have had that problem where they have been either very overweight or they actually had the excess skin after pregnancy. So they were fit, then they got pregnant and then they brought their fitness levels back up after the child was born, but they unfortunately had the excess skin hanging. And in all, all of those cases, they ended up, if they had the money, going the surgical route to try and get it removed. But there are things you can do if you're on that journey to lose the weight, to try and do it safely and efficiently. Because as human beings, we all want things fast and we want it now and we live in a world where everything's at our fingertips and we just want it immediately. So when people want weight loss, they often go on these crazy diets and they go, right, I'm going to lose an absolutely incredible amount of weight. But one thing they often don't realise is the skin does need to take time to catch up with what the body's doing. You can't expect miracles. You can't expect... So Christian Bale, for one of his movies, I forget what it was, I think he was playing... He was playing a drug addict. Uh, he ate an apple, a bottle of water and one coffee every single day for four months, that's all he ate. And he was anorexic thin by the end of it, which is what he wanted for the movie. He wanted to have that physique for the movie to look anorexic thin. And normally he's got an absolutely amazing physique. I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not good for the body at all. Uh, I watched an interview with Tom Hanks where he had to do drastic weight loss for Castaway movie. But he's also done movies where he's had to put a lot of weight on and he actually thinks that doing that process might have given him diabetes or his uh, doctors think there's a possibility. I think for one movie he had to put a lot, a lot of weight on. Um, so he just ate and ate and ate. And again, yeah, he, he thinks that could have had adverse effects on his health. Be sensible. You only get one body. So if you're looking to lose weight, just do it sensibly. Don't go crazy because... Yeah, if you, do it, if you do a crazy diet, you might lose that weight really quickly, but there's also a chance that your skin might not be able to catch up with your body because you've lost the weight too quickly. And then you're in a, another predicament of now you've got excess skin hanging off the body. Whereas if it's done correctly, slowly, steadily, which is kind of what fitness should really be, uh, then that is the best way to do it. I hope that helps some people and please like, please subscribe. I read all of the comments from these videos. So if you leave a comment, I may comment back. Cool. Thank you for watching.